Dixon and knocks out like this. And what does this sound like? So what? I'm very busy, Miss Dixon. What's on your mind? There's some matter here you should meet. Oh, no, not another guy selling Ebonic Bibles. No, it's my good friend, Elma Newsom. Oh, Mrs. Dixon, I am very busy. Ah, oh, Mrs. Newsom. <laughs> it is such a pleasure. Her husband passed away last night. And a sadness. <laughs> I hadn't heard, Mrs. Newsom. I'm terribly sorry. Such a shock. Mm -hmm. Please. The sudden passing of a loved one always takes a harder toll. Uh, no, he'd been sick for years. He never complained a day in his life, mm -mm. except the last day. He said his gravy was too cold. Mm -hmm. I went to heat it up, but when I came back, he was gone. Oh, poor Krita. Mm. <laughs> I regret that I never got the opportunity to meet your husband, Mrs. Newsom. Our hearts truly go out to you. Reverend, I want you to preach Luther's funeral. Mrs. Newsom, I am touched and honored. Rest assured that I will give your husband a righteous funeral, most worthy of this good and very saintly man. That means a lot to me, Reverend. Thank you, Pastor. And Mrs. Newsom, once again, words cannot express how deeply saddened I am by your terrible, terrible loss. My first funeral! <laughs> Heavenly Father, Giver of life, no, 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 provider, provider. Provider of life, we thank you for our friend, our neighbor, and our brother. A man we all loved and knew so very well. Luther Newsom. <laughs> we are gonna miss him so. Mrs. Dixon, I have a little confession to make. This is my first funeral, and I'm just a little bit nervous. Well, you got a lot to be nervous about. I do? Oh, yeah. It's going to be hard for you to fill Pastor Douglas's shoes. Well, I will certainly do my best to uphold his traditions. Well, you better do more than that. Because Brother Newsom is not your everyday dead man. He was very important around here. Well, we are all important in his eyes, Mr. Dixon. Well, now, Reverend, that's true in the great by and by, but I'm talking about the right here now. Some of the most important people in this town are going to be at Brother Newsom's funeral. Mm -hmm. And they're going to be watching your every move to see how you stack up to Pastor Douglas. Mrs. Dixon, I've grown just a little weary of hearing about Pastor Douglas. Well, you're right. So much for the good old days. <laughs> we got work to do. Yes. Now, you ready to meet your sanctified cross? My what? <laughs> Didn't they teach you anything at Divinity School? A sanctified cry is a professional mourner. A professional mourner? Yeah. It's somebody that we pay to get the grieving kicked off. <laughs> well, you know how people are when they come to funerals and they get all half a loot and they don't want to cut loose? Yeah. Come on in, Sahara. <laughs> No, this is Sahara Matthews. Very pleased to meet you, Mrs. Matthews. Good to meet you, acting pastor. <laughs> Sahara, it's so nice of you to take time out of your busy schedule to yeah. come by here and interview with us. Well, you know, Pastor Douglas was good enough to hire me before I made a name for myself, mm -hmm. so I'll take a few dollars off my fee. Go on, Sahara. Show him what you can do. Sure, now how do you want it? Sitting, standing, or rolling? <laughs> Whatever's comfortable for you. Just hit it and see what happens. Wait. 
Okay. <laughs> Down home, New Orleans style, what do you need? No, no, uh, that was impressive. Oh, I can do it on oh. week. With you. Too happy, y'all. See, I told y'all. <laughs> what are we? Happy, happy, joy, joy that the brother has passed? Now, people, I do not want people tapping their feet at a funeral. Yeah, you heard the ref. Roll that brother out of here with a spiritual slow jam. <laughs> Steve, stop helping and get everyone ready for rehearsal. All right. You ready for me yet, Pastor? Um, no, not quite yet. Um, uh, Mr. Matthews, please, just have a seat. I'll be ready when you need me. Now, choir, you will be singing Amazing Grace when the pallbearers will bring in the casket. Um, where are my pallbearers, please? We don't get the men in black until tomorrow, right? <laughs> okay. Then you're gonna be the pallbearers. All right, T? <laughs> what? Uh -huh. Amazing That's good. Paul Bears go. Sweet. <laughs> a little bit faster, a little bit faster. And Let's say no, 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 stop, stop, stop. No, 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 no. Paul Bears faster. Choir slower. Was blind. But now I see. <laughs> All right, we are going to take a break. And we'll come back in five minutes. That's a fiver. Who wants soda? <laughs> Kingdom has been prepared for us from the foundation of the world. There is a place where we all can live and... Reverend, it's a full house just like I told you. Yes, well, I am ready, Mrs. Dixon. <laughs> well, you better be, because you're not preaching to a bunch of amateur funeral goers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can't fool these people with a few amens and a hallelujah. <laughs> with the real deal. Well, Mrs. Dixon, I am not worried. We're up half the night rehearsing, and I am ready this time. Then I'm glad I brought extra hankies. <laughs> See you out there. See you out there. Yes, yes, yes. Come on in. <laughs> I'm sorry, brother, I don't have a whole lot of time, but um, how can I help you? I'm... <laughs> Henry, I was Mr. Newsom's mechanic. I want to You want to make a contribution to the church in Mr. Newsom's name? No. You want to be a Paul Bear? <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> well, Mr. Henry, what exactly do you want to do at Mr. Newsom's funeral? Make a, 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 a 
So, Mr. Henry, you want to make a speech at Mr. Newsom's funeral this morning? <laughs> oh. Mr. Henry, the, um, the schedule is very, very tight. And uh, we have everything arranged, and it's about to start now in five minutes. I... See. I'm very, very sorry. That's... That, that, that's... Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Henry, maybe I can, maybe I can give you a minute. Swell. Oh, I'm sorry. My bad, Rev. Uh, I didn't know you were still busy. Oh, that's all right. That's all right, T. Um, I'll be with you in a minute. Uh, Mr. Henry, I will. Um, <clears throat> I'll do what I can. <laughs> Thank you. Pastor. Uh, Rev, who is that? There's a friend of Mr. Newsom's. Well, what was he doing? Breaking in a new tongue? <laughs> well, he's gonna, um, he's gonna make a speech at the funeral. They're starting in two minutes, you know? Yeah. But Brad, let's go check, 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 check out the timing. Hmm. Yeah. And if I start them at the end of the service, then everyone will be laughing at them. If I start them before my eulogy, then people will be laughing by the time I start to speak. <laughs> I planned the perfect funeral, T, but how can it be perfect if I got this guy? Well, Rev, perfection is not to be expected in this life, but in paradise. See, that was beautiful. I never heard that Bible quote. Uh, that's because I got it from an ad for a booty club in Jamaica. <laughs> Brothers and sisters. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, we have gathered here today to pay final respects to Brother Luther Newsom. But first, we we'll hear from a good friend of Mr. Newsom's, Mr. Henry, if you would. <laughs> Mr. Henry, we we'll make a few words of tribute. <laughs> Thank you. Pastor. I loved Mr. Newsom. Yes, yes, yes. He he was my friend. My good friend. Amen. Amen. He was the only man that never la laughed at me. 
I, I guess my, my m m m time is up. No, no, Pastor. no. Please, Mr. Henry, take all the time you need. Thank, thank you, P Pastor. Yes. M m m M m m m m m m m he hears. He hears every single word that you're saying, Bob. Every word. Mr. Newsom told me that if I believed in myself mm -hmm. yeah. and connect with the love of God, oh, yeah. right. the words would just flow out. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Kind of like they are right now. Yeah. Yeah. This is like a miracle. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Mr. Newsom, you were the best friend I ever had. And I am going to miss you. Yes, indeed I am. He was a good man. He was a good man. Hush up now, woman. Mr. Mr. Newsom, I can feel you here right now with me. Yes. So farewell, my friend. Farewell. May the Savior's hand caress you in your blessed, sweet repose. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Yes. yes. Brother Henry, I think that's the most moving speech I have ever heard. Yes. Thank you, Pastor. Yes. You know, I've never really spoken to people. <laughs> Just talking and talking and say what comes in my mind. Well, praise the Lord, Brother Henry. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, this is wonderful. Yes. Well, thank you. Come on. I feel like sharing that. Come on. You know, Brother Henry, yes! Yes! Oh, church! Praise God! I must tell you, this being my first funeral, I had planned today a very special funeral. I wanted to impress all of you. Oh, oh, people. My sermon was going to make you weep and wail for weeks. I wasn't sure about having Brother Henry speak here today. I was afraid that his speech impediment would ruin my funeral. My funeral. My day of glory. My day to shine. But people, it ain't my day. And it ain't my funeral. It's Brother Luke funeral and it's brother luther's day so why don't we send brother luther home with all the joy i said all the joy and the happiness that he had in this life so church so choir let's try amazing grace again but this time let's make it a song of celebration come on church come on choir